going on guys welcome to the channel my name is Robert if this is your first time here this channel is mainly about hunting and fishing things going on at the ranch or any type of adventures I'm taking any kind of trips I'm taking as well um, something I started new with the channel was providing some type of inspiration or motivational quote at least once a week I upload two to three videos per week and at least one in one of those videos per week I will provide some type of inspiration or motivation it's something I was already doing with my family as a text, and I thought I'd bring it to my viewers as well. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the GoPro Hero 7 Silver. I'm not going to get too technical into this. I'm not a super techie guy myself, but I do a lot of uh, filming out here on the ranch, um, and I needed something with a little bit higher quality. I went out and I bought a $20 action camera. That was a complete waste of time. I do not suggest that. I was trying to go another route without having to buy a GoPro. It, it Just don't do it. Not, don't waste your time. Take it from someone who did it. It's not worth it. Um, the GoPro 7, it comes in this little glass case. So I literally was like, how the heck do you get this thing out of here? I was pulling it and fussing with it. Well, I finally looked in the bottom. It has a tear tab. You have to tear the bottom and you just pull it out. It has a little holder. You just pull it right back out. And this is how it's supposed to come out. Not this little glass part. Later in this video, guys, I'm going to show you basically the slow motion. Uh, the slow-mo. This one is a silver, so it goes up to 2x. If you get the hero, it goes up to 8x slow-mo. So you can slow things down eight times. And this one's only up to two times. So I'm just going to get some birds or maybe some ducks or something and see if I can get them to fly so you can see the slow-mo action. I'm also going to be putting this in the, cam the camera underwater so you can see what it looks like underwater, what kind of uh, video quality you can get out of this camera underwater and the sound you can get underwater as well. When you get it out of the box, you're going to have this little rubbery tab here. You just pop that up, squeeze these tabs together, and you push towards you, and it slides right out. So, you could actually save this mount if you wanted to take it off. It's actually, it's, it's a regular mount. Um, the casing is pretty, pretty good. I've already uh, fiddled with this thing. The casing is pretty strong on this. You have to really use some power and force to pry this thing open. But it does come out. And you just put your fingers here and you squeeze it out. To power it on, it has this little mode button on the side. This is to record. You just hit that mode button. And that's what it does. So it gives you up here on the top left. It tells you how much space or recording time you have left on your memory card. I only have a 16 gigabyte memory card in there right now. It tells you your battery life right here on the top right. It tells you your mode. In the middle it you can also select 4k the hero 7 does have 4k capabilities this one is clips you can make small clips up to up, bleh, up to 15 seconds this is for slow-mo so you want to catch like a bird flying or um, a bullet in the air or something you would select slow-mo this is to zoom you can zoom in zoom out pretty neat little feature for a uh, small little compact camera you tap the screen everything goes away you can also swipe down and this is voice control so basically you can say if I have if I select that you can say uh, GoPro record it would automatically start recording uh, the beeps you can turn off the beeps the camera beeps when you press buttons you can select that to turn it off Turn it on. That's off. I like it on just so I know that I actually hit a button. The quick capture feature, I have it off right now. You can turn it on. This is to lock the screen uh, so it's not turning on you. Basically like a phone. And preferences, I haven't really gone into that too much and I'm not going to get into all that. Just because I don't quite understand everything so far on that.
Now you can also swipe up and it shows you your recent clip. So my recent clip was me in the water in a pedal boat. This camera is waterproof straight out of the box. It does have this little rubbery type of seal, a rubbery type of material. A lot of people have complained about how it feels and how it scratches and whatnot, but I actually like it. I feel like it provides a better grip. Uh, what I would suggest is uh, you go into your preferences. So how you get there is pull down preferences and go to, where is it at? Defaults resolution. When you purchase the camera, they have it at 1440. Um, that's just factory settings. I don't know why they have it at 1440, but select 1080 just so you can get a better resolution right, right away. That's just a quick tip on that. And right here, right here is where your SD card is located. SD card charging port and transfer port. This also has, make sure this is closed. If this is not closed, uh, it won't be waterproof and you will definitely screw up your camera. And the batteries are not removable on these uh, GoPro silvers or the whites. They are, on, they are only removable on the Hero Black. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna basically get this camera mounted. Maybe do like a video or two, just a quick little clip of me talking so you can kind of see the real life video quality. And like I said, I'm gonna get the, the camera underwater so you can kind of get a feel of what kind of uh, quality you can expect out of this camera. I'm also gonna try to do a slow-mo, try to get some birds or something to fly so you can see the slow motion quality as well. Alright guys, so another feature, and the greatest probably feature of them all is, that I forgot to tell you about, is you can control your GoPro by your phone, which is what I'm doing right now as I'm recording. And by now you've seen the slow motion in action. Let me know what y'all thought about it. If y'all liked it, like this video. All right guys, so right now, I'm just gonna show you some footage of me talking. I'm talking to the GoPro. Let me know how the audio quality, let me know how the audio quality is. Can y'all hear me well? Can y'all not? How is the uh, the video quality? Is it is it good? Is it crisp? Is it clean? I'll just kind of move around a little bit so you can kind of see that. And I'm waiting for some birds to land over here. I have some uh, Milo thrown on the in the pen over there. See if I can get some birds over there and get them to fly so I can show you the slow motion as well. Right now, I'm going to get in a uh, little boat I have here at the ranch. And I'm going to drop the camera underneath. See if we can see some fish underwater. I have some good fish in here. See if we can pick them up. See if it's good enough to pick up uh, the fish. Uh, the water clarity might not help as well, but we'll see what we can get. All right, guys, so I'm just going to drop some food down in the pond, see if we can get some fish, see if y'all can, uh, hopefully we can pick up some fish that way y'all can see the quality of the, of the camera in action with actually a live animal. Uh, the water's really green, has a lot of good plankton in here. So I'm not sure how good the quality will be, but hopefully we can get some good shots underwater so I can show you the quality of the camera underwater and hopefully it can pick up some good so some good sound as well. Um, I haven't done this before so I'm going to do it right now and we'll find out together if this is a good camera to take underwater or not. Alrighty guys, well I hope y'all enjoyed that. If y'all did, y'all wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. And until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and uh, 
We'll see you next time.